In our morning rounds, scientists in the United States have successfully repaired a faulty gene in human embryos for the first time. Researchers use the powerful technology known as CRISPR to fix the DNA mutation that causes an inherited form of heart disease. 72% of the resulting embryos were disease free. None were implanted. The experiment shows it is possible to prevent the defect from being passed to future generations. In 2015, we spoke to Jennifer Doudna, the scientist who helped develop the technology. Think about a film strip, you know, and you see a particular segment of the film that you want to replace. You could go in and snip out a piece and replace it with something that um, corrects a mutation that would cause disease. Our doctor, David Agus, is in Los Angeles. Good morning, doctor. Put aside uh, some of the questions about uh, the ethical issues here. On a purely scientific basis, how big of a breakthrough is this? Wow. <laughs> Human genetic, gearing, uh, genetic engineering yesterday was science fiction, and today it's reality. So they took uh, eggs from, normal eggs from women, and they injected them with sperm from a man that had a hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. This is when high school athletes push themselves and they have sudden death. This is that gene defect. And they also injected CRISPR caspase 9. And what it does is it searches out the one error in the three billion letters of the DNA code. It, it chops it out and the DNA corrects itself. And so <laughs> in 72% of the embryos, they did it. It worked. Three days later, they uh, sacrificed the embryos that were fertilized, but this was an experiment showing this was possible. Is the exciting thing here that the gene corrects itself? Part of it is it corrects itself, and part of it is the potential of what can be done here, is that this technology was originally discovered in bacteria, and now it clearly works in human cells in these embryos, and it's viable. What looks like from these experiments is that it was precise. The other three billion letters weren't touched. So, Dr. Agus, Margaret pointed this out. There are some ethical concerns and implications with this. What are they and how will they be addressed? Well, you know, this is the beginning of a new frontier. So we can change DNA in an embryo. So early onset Alzheimer's, cystic fibrosis, sickle cell anemia could be diseases of the past. But at the same time, where's the line? Will you make a child smarter, faster, bluer eye, blonder hair, the potential for eugenics? This really is something that needs to be discussed. Yeah. The problem is, who's in charge of it? Who makes the decisions? And who decides on the rules and regulations? No question. And if we decide here in the United States, all someone has to do is get on a plane and go to Mexico, go to South America, go somewhere else. This is a small lab in order to do this. This is not that complex. Give me one, exa need David, give me one example of what might be possible in the next five years. Well, in the next five years, people with HIV now, we could take out their immune cells and change them so the virus can't get in. The receptor, CCR5, can be changed. And so all of a sudden, uh, HIV patients will not develop AIDS. Wow. This is wow. really exciting news. You think yeah. about how many lives would have been sold, saved if we could have known that 10 years ago, yeah. 15 years ago? No question about it, but it's here. And so the challenge is to do it right. Thank you, David. Thank you.